A while back, some big tech leaders made some bold claims about AI. Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, actually said that kids wouldn't even need to learn to code anymore because according to him, everyone in the world is now a programmer. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. Yeah, he said everyone in the world is now a programmer. And then there is Ahmad Mushtaq, CEO of Stability AI, who said that in just five years, there wouldn't be any human programmers left. Sounds wild, right? But here's the reality. AI isn't exactly living up to that hype. Instead of taking over programming, it's causing a whole new set of issues. Studies are showing that AI-generated code is often buggy, insecure, and honestly, not very reliable. In this video, we're going to dive into why this AI hype bubble might be popping. We'll check out some numbers, talk about why certain AI companies might be overvalued, and see why some investors are starting to lose that initial excitement. If he actually had to talk about the thing he signed today, he'd go, well, it's a calculator of sorts. Well, it doesn't always work, but when it does, it's sort of good. <laughs> so what happened? How did we go from AI is going to replace programmers to AI is making things more complicated? Let's look at the research. Let's start with a recent study by Uplevel that looks at the reality of AI in coding. They studied over 800 developers using AI coding tools like GitHub Copilot. And the results, not exactly what you would expect. First, they found that developers using AI saw a 41% increase in bugs. Yeah, while AI might help you write code faster, it's also adding a lot more errors, meaning more time spent fixing those errors. So instead of speeding things up, AI can actually slow you down in the end. And even though you would think that AI tools would help developers complete tasks faster, the study didn't show any real improvements in task completion or issue resolution. Basically, AI's promises of efficiency don't quite hold up. Also, developers using these tools didn't feel any less stressed or burned out. Their workload and stress levels stayed pretty much the same, even though AI was supposed to take over some of those repetitive tasks. So yeah, it sounds great in theory, but in practice, not so much. Next up, let's talk about a study from GitClear. They analyzed millions of lines of code to see how AI tools actually affect developer productivity. If you thought AI was making things more efficient, think again. One big takeaway was that AI-generated code has a 39% higher churn rate, meaning a lot of it gets rewritten or removed shortly after it's created. So nearly 40% of that AI-generated code ends up being redone, which is basically a waste of time. And that's not all. The study found about 11% more duplicated code when developers used AI tools. Instead of generating efficient, reusable code, AI tends to spit out new code unnecessarily, which just clutters your code base. Now, duplicated code isn't just ugly, it can also introduce bugs in multiple places and make your software harder to debug and scale. So yeah, AI might help you pump out code faster, but it also creates a ton of instability more churn, more duplicated code, it all adds up to less reliable software and more effort spent maintaining a clean code base. In the end, it's more work, not less. Not exactly the game changer we were promised, right? Oh, it, it thinks that BOFA is a real protocol and it's like, I don't know how to do that. Hey, I wanted to tell you about something that's been improving my YouTube experience a ton, and that's YouTube Premium. Have you ever been watching a video and right at the best part, an ad pops up? Well, YouTube Premium gets rid of that. You can watch all your favorite content without a single ad. I've been using YouTube Premium for the past few years and it's the best experience. Especially when I'm in bed, I love listening to podcasts and I hate those annoying ads popping up. But thanks to YouTube Premium, I never get them. But there's more. With YouTube Premium, you can also download your favorite videos. This is great if you're traveling or don't have access to high-speed internet. You can download videos ahead of time and watch them offline. Another great benefit is that you can keep your videos playing in the background when you switch to other apps. Ever been watching a video and then you get a text from a friend? When you switch to the other app, the video usually stops, right? With YouTube Premium, your videos keep playing in the background while you switch to other apps. So how do you get all these perks? YouTube Premium is a paid monthly subscription service. You can pay a very low monthly fee and get all these benefits. No commitments, you can cancel anytime. 
But here's the best part. If you subscribe through the link in the description or the banner in this video, you will get two months free and I may earn a commission. You will not only get an amazing ad free experience, but you will also support my channel. So if you want two months of YouTube premium for free, subscribe using the link in the description. Now let's talk about security, because when you're writing code, it's not just about getting it done, it's about getting it right. And this is where AI coding assistants start to fall short. A study from Stanford found that developers using an AI assistant wrote significantly less secure code than those working without one. What's worse is that developers who had access to an AI assistant were actually more likely to believe their code was secure, even when it wasn't. This suggests that AI tools might be giving developers a false sense of confidence. AI-generated code often looks right, which makes developers trust it too easily. And this false sense of security is a big deal in fields like healthcare, finance, or infrastructure, places where security really can't be compromised. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying AI is useless or we should stop using it. As a developer, I can tell you that AI has definitely boosted my productivity. I use it all the time for repetitive tasks. It's great for generating boilerplate code, like the stuff that nobody wants to write from scratch. It's great for translating code from one language to another or quickly throwing together a prototype. So yes, AI is a powerful tool, but it's just that, a tool. The future of coding isn't AI replacing developers. It's developers working with AI. Anyone telling you otherwise probably has never built real enterprise software in their life or they're trying to sell you something. Look, coding isn't even the hardest part of being a software engineer. We spend a ton of time in meetings, gathering requirements, setting up environments, and digging through old code bases to understand what's really going on. Coding is only one piece of the puzzle. So think of AI like spell checker for writers. It makes us more productive, but it's not replacing us anytime soon, if ever. And this brings us to a big takeaway, education. AI might help with some coding, but you still need to understand what's going on behind the scenes. You can't just trust it blindly. Companies have learned this the hard way. AI can give you code that looks great at first, but if you don't fully understand it, you're opening the door to bugs, instability, and security risks. On top of that, just copy-pasting AI-generated code can lead to technical debt. Code that's so messy and complex that no one can work with without breaking something. That's why in my courses, I focus on teaching you to write clean, maintainable code that solves real problems. I don't just show you what to write, I explain why we are doing it this way. Knowing the reasoning behind your code is key to becoming a great developer. Someone who can create software that is functional, scalable, and sustainable in the long run. So AI is awesome and it can definitely speed things up, but don't use it blindly. Don't skip learning the fundamentals, best practices, or the reasoning behind your code just because AI can generate it for you. Because here's the truth. If you don't understand what your code is doing, you're not making yourself more valuable. You're actually putting yourself at risk of being left behind. You won't lose your job to AI. You will lose it to the developer who has solid programming skills and knows how to use AI to be even better. AI is here to help, not to replace us. So invest in yourself, learn the fundamentals, understand the details, and then use AI to level up. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more coding advice.